Hi dear students, I am Dr. Minakshi Vishwal, Assistant Professor Basanta College for Women, Rajgat, admitted to the privileges of BHU, Varanasi. In this module, we will discuss globalization, localization, privatization, political ideologies and technological influences, economic necessities, impact on curriculum planning. The main objectives are to define globalization, localization and privatization, to get knowledge on political ideology and technological influences, economic necessities, to explain globalization, localization, privatization, political ideology and technological influences, economic necessities and impact on curriculum planning. The process of integration of economies and societies through cross country flow of information, ideas, technology, goods, services, capital, finance and people is considered as globalization. It can also be explained as removal of barriers to free trade and the closer integration of national economies through trade, investment and migration of people. Globalization means that all the nations join their hands with each other and create a kind of socio-economic environment to do business or any commercial, cultural and educational activities in which every participant nation should be benefited. It has positive dimension bringing together cultural processes through networking and promoting outsourcing. Globalization is visible in trade, finance, communication and transport. Its impact is seen in terms of emergence of global cities as center of economy. For example, Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, Bangalore and Hyderabad. In demographic terms, English has become the international language and facilitates international migration and the rise of multicultural society. Teachers have become facilitator, participative and encourage global transaction and communication resulting in more awareness among children. Students migration has also increased. The curriculum has witnessed several changes such as global in approach wider experiences, more interactive, accepting networking technologies and welfare of large number by trade and communication. The quality of education is resulting in more preparation and change. In this approach, the competency based curriculum with modular approach is widely accepted. UNESCO presented that around the world 1.2 billion people are still living under severe poverty. Hence, globalization become imperative for change. There are 862 million illiterate adults and 115 million children who are out of school and have not received basic education, which is the basic minimum of global participation. 1.2 billion people have no access to safe drinking water and nearly 2.5 billion people have no access to basic sanitary facilities. In India, there is a mission called Swachhata Aviyan to improve this situation. The communication revolution has caught the world in increasing investment in communication and development. Globalization is influencing general way of life in India. It includes language, belief, art, spirituality, social activity and interaction. A. K. Sen in 2002 in the article How to Judge Globalism says that globalization should not be considered primarily as a feature of imperialism, but globalization is a historical process that has contributed to the progress of the world through travel trade, migration, spread of culture, influences and dissemination of knowledge and understanding including that of science, 
and technology and it has offered an abundance of opportunities and rewards in the past and continues to do so today. The influence of western culture on India has changed the dressing pattern among children and adolescents. Media and modes of entertainment have catalyzed culture convergence resulting in common television viewing. Access to television has grown from 10 percent to 75 percent in the urban population from 1991 to 1999. The internet has come in 1994 in India and spread fast to cover the entire nation. Even children have become familiar with playstation, surfing and mobile technology. It is told by D. Sarma in 2015. The world trade organization and the general agreement on trade and services include liberalization of trade in education as one of the major goals. There are several effects of globalization. These are cross border supply of teachers, teaching material, software, online educational courses and testing services. The e-book planning, e-course planning is rather different from print media in education. Many students who have migrated abroad for studies and for work encounter a different work culture and education. The international standards have gradually increased for making changes in the curricular planning. Foreign students in India, some students from foreign countries visit India for studies. As the cost of living in India is relatively less and cultural interaction is more, they sometimes facilitate trade and commerce abroad. Foreign students presence helps for closer interaction in education and planning. For consideration of needs and purposes are closely seen to result in more objective perception of change. It involves comparison, twinning arrangement, closer collaborative activities, establishing campus abroad. Some of these schools, colleges and universities have campuses abroad for sharing more enriched education, interaction and closer relationship. For example, SNDT Women's University, Billa Institute of Technology and Science, Management Institutes of Mumbai have dual degree program and foreign campuses activities in Singapore. Increasing partnership in higher education. IGNU has tied up with Australia Open University and UK Open University. It helps in skill development and knowledge updation of people from different countries. There are agencies and institutions of standards in different countries for global accreditation and curricular planning. The European Higher Education Commission has been trying to group countries needs for developing standards and uniform accreditation. Virtual University. The virtual universities have started functioning in many countries with more effectiveness with global reach. Some of the countries have more curricular planning and implementation such as US Department of Education, US Universities, Canada. U.S. universities in Canada and India, IGNU, Beats Pilani, England, UK, Open University. China has also joined the group increasing mobility, change, plan and achievement. Localization, the perspective of local people in any given region in India is generally limited. The resources available and that could be augmented for educational planning process is also limited. In this condition, direct transfer of any technology from abroad such as broadcasting service may not be feasible. The immediate needs will be met by low cost or no cost aids that may facilitate production transmission or reception. For this purpose, ISRO has prepared reception sets at reasonable cost that would facilitate reception of signals with better resolution. It was tested for its effectiveness in the satellite experiment in Madhya Pradesh, India. The advantage in localization in that for many 
it provides added benefits. Some of the activities that are successful in localization are downloading information from website, portal and network database. A considerable number of teachers and students are spending from new few thousands to lakhs of rupees on downloading charges. Community resources need to be augmented for education at school or college level. IGNU has tied up with some kioscos in each place to provide for network facility. Each of the IGNU study center has some uploading facility. Experienced for professionals are available as guest faculty for various courses. They need to be networked for more professional outcomes. LAN facilities may be networked for local teleconferencing as an experiment. The workstation will be able to produce and disseminate the required information like a call center. The feedback mechanism may be worked out for better performance. The Maharaja Siyaji Rao University of Badodara has provided students facilitation center for online admission, feedback, website surfing and consultation counseling. There is need to improve peer interaction and for this purpose small groups may be created and discussion in face to face mode and in mobility also with mobile technology could be materialized. The Department of Science and Technology New Delhi has started www.science at the rate mobile.com that works on mobile and internet in Delhi on registration. The messages come in as SMS and query also could be sent as SMS. This project is working well in providing science education to people. Mobilization of local resources. The local culture, habitat and environment could be used for providing education along with formal education. For example, discussing biodiversity in eco clubs in schools, visiting nearby sanctuary or forest and take worldwide fund for wildlife help for orientation. There are projects in Gir Forest, Junagad, Gujarat to build ecology of the local area for example to include and organize animal and grow medicinal plants in garden landscaping organization. On similar basis in the water resources available there are many bird sanctuaries in different parts of India for example bird sanctuary at Ranganathi to Mysore, Karnataka and Narayan Sarabhar, Gujarat. Developing energy park some of the example may may be to develop garden on energy theme, develop project for use of solar and renewable energy for the various developmental activities such as road lighting, signaling, develop road map and flow of traffic to guide automobile owners on the road, place screens in important places to show the traffic signals, messages of development, communication, advertising, modeling travel information and guidance. Provide electronic kioscos for students to play and develop play stations. Provide virtual training and simulation for guidance for plays such as tennis, swimming, wrestling, boxing, table tennis, badminton. Help students to beautify their environment, proper waste disposal and recycling of ashes, bio farming, Example, aquaculture, hydroponics, bonsai, develop interest groups for example, dance, music, drawing, painting, printing, designing including interior designing, eco designing, building, material, space, beautification, aesthetics, fabric designing, doll making including teddy bears, use of alternative material for modeling, clay work glass painting, block material. For example, in Badodara, one of the scholar is teaching student to develop blocks for printing. Privatization, GATT by World Trade Organization from January 1st, 2005 decided to develop partnership policies in education through private investment. 
there were 44 countries participating including India, America, Canada, Brazil and New Zealand, Australia who proposed ideas of partnership. The open universities have started developing relationship among these participating countries. These participating countries can do this. First one is exchange educational services with the help of technological support. Second one is students could avail educational services through internet, email, ebook, e-journal and bulletin service. Third one is teachers could teach online foreign students. Fourth one is a center may be opened in the foreign country for collaboration and continuous communication with foreign universities. Fifth one is the international baccalaureate program students have been collaborating on projects across different countries. Sixth one is in 1999 in China the number of E universities were 4 and at present are above 50. The EduSat services may change the situation in India and other participating countries. There are many private universities started in India by private trust and other organization for various purposes. There is maximum number of private universities in state such as Rajasthan. These universities are small in structure and offer specific course required for by people. The investment in education is reasonable heavy and commercialization of education is promoted in space and time. The private public partnership is thought of by people, however, private institutions including industrial institution have sustainable strategies of survival, transaction, minimum standards are maintained in admission, teaching and examination. The collaboration with other foreign universities is always sought for development, however, private institutions abroad have become selective in their collaboration. There is inbuilt competition in uniformity in private institutions. The political ideology in curriculum planning, the political party in power at state level and national level always emphasize the promotion of their political values, thinking and sometimes habits. There is a demand for convergence of values to the party manifesto and idea developed by party. The conservative estimates made by many political thinkers have rather slowed the system and implementation. For example, implementation of Sharv Shiksha Aviyan for the education of girl child, minorities and urban poor. The maintenance of status quo become the basis of survival. The problem of reservation has also spread in many states in India leading to a situation that in many states the Supreme Court structure of giving reservation only up to 50 percent is not followed and more reservation is provided according to the needs of the party than people. Nearly more than half of the states in India have more than 50 percent reservation. The socialist parties in India such as communist party of India have not been able to control expenditure with regard to education. Private cost has increased remarkably resulting in more development in terms of literacy. For example, Kerala state. The state where migration is more seems to show better economic development. For example, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh. The localization, privatization and globalization model almost get implemented implicitly in these states. The curriculum shows many revisions, but students show differential progress. The rural and urban disparities become more prominent in Gujarat and Maharashtra. Many states such as Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh are following this trend. The idea of national uniform curriculum would bring improvement in standard seems to be a myth. India has achieved to certain extent 
uniformity in textbook preparation and implementation of 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern throughout the country. The Education Commission 1964-1966 suggested uniform pattern of 10 plus 2 plus 3 and later National Policy of Education 1986 reiterated and supported that strong idea strongly resulting in overall implementation of 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern throughout the country by 1986-87. Although uniformity is achieved, interstate comparison of standards including textbook varies to a great extent. The role of NCRT in trying to bring uniformity in structure and textbook preparation is significant. The general standard of textbook preparation has increased resulting in more appeal for education. The number of students enrolled also has increased surge increasing trend. The political interest shown in education has brought tremendous changes in many states for example, providing computer education in schools. Most of the states in India have accepted computer education as an integral part of school education. The consensus among the political parties in on this issue has increased cooperation and collaboration with other countries. The Indian parliament tried to adopt some backward rural areas and tried to increase standards of living through technology education and intervention of new method of processing information with increased speed and flow of flow. For example, Andhra Pradesh, the use of mobile technology has caught the attention of public. The maximum number of mobile users are in India and Asia. It has become a big and growing consumer market for the world. This situation has brought the lifestyles of Chinese nearer to Indian. In the similar logic, the Sark countries have found more need for cooperation with regard to education. UGC in New Delhi has been providing services to many countries. The common pattern and standard has been the thinking of European Higher Education Commission for European countries. Some of the countries have come together to follow the same pattern of education, examination, certification and maintain reasonably good standard. At the same time, all the private institutions in India or abroad including Europe are able to maintain high standard for example, in some schools and colleges technological influences and economic necessities for curriculum planning. This has been a debate of the state and nation. The concern for quality education has increased globally with more technological influences for example, networking. Schools are network for sharing resources in Jordan, Palestine, broadcasting, radio, print, Newspaper schools have their newsletters, many schools have their own website. The images of education created through mass media have a significant impact on children's mind. It has influenced adults lifestyle in more ways than one. Modernization of production processes has been a continuing demand of people. Many of the production process are more getting fully automated to observe more production with quality. The technology involves infrastructure development that acts as an asset for the country. The economy will grow with more production, utilization and convergence to produce more returns. B. B. Kamble in 2006 presents varied infrastructural facilities for utilization of ICTs and exist in India. The information is used by everybody in different ways to observe integration of methods and media for economic gain and finer understanding in their life. Incidentally, the target group consists of school children at primary, secondary and tertiary levels out of school children. 
and members of the general community including economically and socially backward classes. The infrastructure for a place in India for this purpose is presented. India has countrywide networks like the All India People's Science Network, National Council for Science and Technology Communication Network, Nehru Yuba Kendra Sangatan, Krisi Vigyan Kendras, Navodaya Vidyalaya Sangatan, Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangatan and so on. The government organizations such as All India Council for Technical Education, Vigyan Prashar, NCSTC, Development and Educational Communication Unit, other agencies and a large number of non-governmental organizations are engaged in science and technology communication. Several organizations have established their own exclusive two-way audio, two-way video interactive communication network using EduSat. Impact of the infrastructure of such kind gets reflected in generating science and technology manpower that continuously work towards development, education, communication and generation of knowledge. It may facilitate increase of productivity. The change of living style has become imperative and increase in standard of living has to be further promoted. In the classification of countries on human development aggregates as given by the Human Development Report 2005, India has reached a medium human development level represented as SDI that is 0.500 to 0.799. B.B. Kamble in 2006 gives a brief description of the kinds of program in science and technology communication developed by private agencies and governmental organizations such as AIR, ISRO, CIT. Different science and technology programs are radio or TV programs or satellites, world space satellite radio, popular science literature or books or slide sets or charts or activity kits or science magazines. In science jathas, folk and traditional media, exhibition or began real science exhibition on wheels, science centers or parks, museums, planetariums, computers, hum radio, internet, etc. Interactive radio or TV program and multimedia, internet or chat sessions or CD rooms. These programs have changed the scientific outlook of people. The economic developments involves the perception of quality of goods and services in its production, utilization and follow through development for more human development and increase in quality of life. India today has become one of the countries to be compared with developing and developed countries of the world. The space based resources, infrastructure development, testing and launching of rocket, atomic energy, aeronautics, exploration of gas and oil, science and technology communication is comparably to developed countries of the world. The human development in terms of services needs to improve such as education, health, agriculture, industry marketing, sanitation, transport and communication in rural areas. These services are comparable with the developing nation. The economic necessity is the needs and aspiration of people. Comparability of development of nation among other countries and the general perception of the quality of life of people. In fact, the health facilities has improved in India, reducing infant mortality rate and increase in lifespan and has resulted in a large number of people in the total population is youth at the one end of the scale and another big group is the older population of 50 plus age. This has imperative for more careful economic planning for augmenting resources human development, 
the human resource planning and utilization of population by training and education would help India take a big leap and lead human population of the world in certain sectors of development. Hence, in this module we have discussed globalization in education and its various impacts in curriculum planning. Thank you.